another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. This discussion covers a lookup control in a Microsoft Access table. I've opened my attendance table, which allows me to see attendance information for students. That includes an attendance ID, which is the primary key for the table, and a student ID representing the student that attended the class. In the instructor field, I have a combo box which allows me to select the instructor's name from the drop-down. One advantage of using the combo box is efficiency. When I enter an instructor name, autocomplete is in effect. So when I start typing the instructor's name, it automatically completes. In addition to that, I have consistency in data entry. This is important in managing data in Microsoft Access. The biggest problem we're all going to have is managing data. It's the integrity of the data. If I have instructors listed in different ways and want to run a query to show me the uh, classes the instructor has taught, I'm going to get invalid records if there's no consistency in the data. Looking at the table in design view, I put the focus on the instructor field name. When I examine the field properties for the instructor field, I can click on the lookup tab and notice that the display control is a combo box. My choices include a text box, list box, or a combo box. The row source is a table. I have a table in my database that tracks information about my instructors. It's bound to column one. The first column in the table for instructors is the instructor name. Column count is one. When I view the combo box, I want to see one column of data. I don't need to see column headings. The width of the column will be one and a half inches. The list rows will be eight. I'll see eight names on the list when I execute the combo box. The list width will be a sum of the column widths, 1.5 and the limit to list property is set to yes. I can only choose an instructor that's on that list. I can't make up an instructor. Bill Gates is not one of my instructors. Back to datasheet view. When I examine the class name, I notice that I do not have a combo box. I want consistency in class name entries. So I'm going to create a combo box that looks up to the class name. I have a query in the database called class list. This includes the names of the classes and the description. This is the source I'm going to use for the lookup control in my attendance table. I'll go to design view, put the focus on the class name, and click the lookup tab. The display control will be a combo box. The row source is a table or a query. I have a query in the database that tracks information about my class names. From the row source, I will select the class list, the names of the classes. The first column of that query is the class name. I only need to see one column of data when I execute the combo box. I do not need column headings. I'm going to set the column width to be 1.5. An inch and a half should be sufficient to see the class list name. I'm only going to look at eight rows of data, and I want the list width to match the column width, 1.5. If I don't enter this value, the combo box width will be equal to the column width in data sheet view. The limit to list property is going to be set to yes. I do not want to be able to enter a class name that is not on the class list. I'll click the view button, click yes to save, and when I go to the class list field, I now have a combo box that allows me to execute a class name consistent with the data that's in the database. To review, to create a combo box in Microsoft Access for a table, go to Design View. For the associated field, click the Lookup tab. The display control will be changed from text box to combo box. 
the row source will be the table or query that holds the data in your database. This is the name of the query that we're using. The first column of that query has the class names in it. I only want to see one column of data when I execute the combo box. I do not want to see column headings. The width of the column will be an inch and a half. I'll see Limit to classes. list will be set to yes. The list width will be an inch and a half. I do not want to allow a choice of a class name that doesn't exist in the database. Another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the Office have on DellInstitute.com.